Hey guys, welcome back to the CK3, the last Viking campaign. And in today's episode, we're going to be uh, sorting things out from the raid that we did at the end of the last episode, but also potentially my look to expand into Sweden to get the holy site of Uppsala. Now I'm going to press play here. See, there it is. It's only one duchy war away, but we need to reinforce our troops beforehand. Now I'm going to quickly go into my court. And in the last episode, you would have seen we got a Blanca de Toulouse who is a genius, and I think this is too good a trade for us to really be just uh, binning off, really. So I'm going to recruit her and convert, of course. Quite a story of getting picked up in a raid in Germany by Vikings and taken up north to the heathen kingdom of Jantland. Negotiate the release, let's keep that going. But on, on course to get a load of men like that, but there we go, my courtier. Now, so I can send poem. I could draw a holy order. Is there anything I can do? Hmm. Can what can I do? Can I potentially give them as a concubine to my son and heir, so he can potentially have genius children? I don't want him to join the holy order. No, thank you. What's the divorce? No. Last legion court. I uh, no. Hostile, it's not going to be hostile. Okay, well, we'll we've got the Holy Priesthood at my court anyway, so we'll just leave that as it is for now. Anything here? No, not really. Oh, Chieftain, sure, who are you? Sure. Negotiate Alliance. Only on 1.2 renown, but that is fine. Let's press play, put on 4 speed. Here we go. I'm looking around us, Denmark's getting a bit of siege down. I love that, it's fantastic. Holy Roman Empire, once again, is on fire. Oh, that's been going on the whole game, and tends to be quite a lot in my games, but England is once again under the Saxon rule of King Walther of England. And if we just have a look at the title history, we can just see how... Uh, here it is, title history, how it is messed up. It's been installed by faction demand from the Duchess Buzzler, the Anglo-Saxon, I do believe. Yeah, oh no, English, who has just died, okay. So yeah, the White Stag. I am out with my retinue in Salatunum when the road twists and takes us in close to the Tager. It is there I sit once more, shimmering in the sun, the White Stag. I turn to alert the others, but as I turn back, the stag is already gone. Oh my goodness, it is eluding us and we're gaining stress because of it. That is not ideal. How are we going to hunt? When's the next time we're going to hunt? The 2nd of July. Okay, we'll wait until that. And then we will we'll, we'll, we'll play that. We're on a hunt for that. From, from 4,000 men, that's not too shabby. Iceland, are you still, you're still Norse. Okay, it's Lial. Fair enough. Sweden, how are you doing? 2,000 men are still allied to Norway, which is a bit of a shame. But yeah, your... Yes, your wife is the sister of King Ingvar who they are big in debt though so that could be they should be fine but I think I would like to go to war with Sweden in this episode but we do need to recover from the raid that we have just been a part of anything here can we do this now we do want to kind of try and build some of our like in within our lands for the next well as we are tribal it could be all right to try and build but we are currently building in our land we can't build any here which as you know we're still tribal yada 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 Ah, oh, which is a bit of a shame. That's the holy order for the Vikings. For their sake, I'm building anything here. No, we're already building there. It's got a lot of money and prestige kind of just laying about. Um, yeah, still, still reinforcing. That's going well. Press play once again. Um, I do wouldn't mind going down here to get the holy site. This could be, but what we do, go and take a prisoner. Don't care. As yeah, the family we can still get the renown in that is what matters really oh we're in july oh wait hang on my council's died no i do think Galande. Oh, joking right let's sway you then can't sway because you're a child oh my goodness died from malnourishment oh dear that is a shame so uh, chancellor let's see if we've got anyone who's decent you can talk of halstonston Sure, your powerful vassal so may as well keep you happy. Let's press play once again. 
wouldn't mind getting pressure back involved. But yeah, you don't, you, we don't like me too much. Such as hostile, uh, I suppose, yeah. Notable guest, Agil Afano, Swedish. Sure, we'll recruit you to court. 11, absolutely, got a noble house as well. What's, who's this house? Is it just a, uh, okay, it's, it must just be a random one. But fair enough. Good to get all the Knights of the World Champions, suppose, because we are tribal that we can get. Our kingdom is looking pretty big at the moment. Shame that's nearly pretty much at the top of the map. I'm not too bothered about expanding this way because I do want to become feudal as soon as I can, but I still don't think I'm going to be able to do that for a while. My daughter in law also giving birth to a son. Wait, this is going to be my player, Air Magnus. Could have another Magnus. But I think, you know, let's follow the. Anon. King Anon could be a good name. I think let's, let's do that, yes. Now, let's have a look. Has he got any good trades? Probably not. Oh, he has. He is handsome. Fantastic. Let's educate. Let's get you educated. Probably a marshal once again would be the best thing to do. Egil app. Fantastic. What personality he's got? He's raffle. Mm. Generous is always quite nice to have in just. You know what? Yeah, we'll get you to educate him. Send proposal indeed. No, I didn't mean to click that, a bit of a misclick there, that's fine. Let's press play once again. Oh yeah, we're going to have a hunt. Let's go for it. We need to de-stress with it as well, so yeah. Let's do that. Hopefully we can find a white stag. I think I've ever really had that event chain before, or at least got this far in it. I'm excited to see what happens. The foragers. The woods truly is the mantle of the poor, but as the stag flees in panic from foraging peasants, I feel my patience wearing thin. Surely there must be better things to do in butting than picking roots and mushrooms. Guards that drive the rabble out of my hunting grounds. That's prestige. I don't need prestige. So no, I'm not doing that. Generous donation. Yeah, we can do that. Got lots of money, but I can't really spend because we're not feudal. Which is a bit of a shame. Okay, returning from the wild. The hunt is drawing to an end. We mount our horses to leave the Tega behind as the servants prepare the stag and other game for the journey back. To heed the call of the wild is usually an adventure, but this outing truly delivered both the good and the bad in overabundance. Okay, that is not ideal. Good amount of prestige, but you know, we move. I think we're going to also have a feast once again. Because, you know, we've got all that we've got money to spend and we need to de stress, and yeah. We go, a cheery gathering. The guests are gathered in the great hall, lords and ladies from the near and far reaches of the realm. Welcome, friends. It's good that everyone seems to like me a fair bit. It's always nice that's happened. As in, ah, there's nothing like a feast. It reminds us all of what is good in life, and the company is not too bad either. At least those seated close to me seem to think so. You are something special, Magnus, Asa tells me. Cantus Inga and Queen at Yafraxia nod their heads in agreement. Ah, oh, that's nice. I lose stress because I'm an ego level. Well, I haven't got any uh, any stress at the moment, which is ideal. So we love that. Disaster strikes. Let's crack open my secret stores, of course. Who wouldn't do such a thing now? We have got a lot of prestige, so I think it's time. We, uh, yeah, let's upgrade. Lot. Yeah, let's get out to seven. Building a great big army here. Now, this is going to be very expensive to maintain, but yeah, let's just get that. Let's leave it at that for now. And we have to end up commissioning an epic. I have to, well, I'll do that. But I think I'm a bit worried about it on succession. The prestige is going to be quite a big thing. Oh, and the feast has been fine. More prestige, fantastic. Now we're going to lose a lot from the reinforcing the men at arms. Yeah. 10 point, wow, 10.42. That is, that is so many. When we, when we get that all reinforced and up, that'll be fine. 6,400 troops we can use to go against Sweden and Norway. Try and take the holy sides. Now, my son did not get the Viking trade from the last raid. No, he didn't. So hopefully, we might go for that at some point soon again. How is my other son doing? Let's have a look. Oh, we've built some stuff. 
the white stag. Since I started my search, reports are coming in from all over the realm of people spotting the majestic white stag. To shift through the accounts and sort fact from fiction is a huge task. If only the reports were more reliable. Plug people to look for it, that could be a good thing. My steward will do it. He loses opinion of me now. I can and I must. No, let's employ people. We can afford the money. We can take the hit. So, okay, we've built another building here. So I think we'll see if we can build another one. That gives us prestige and control growth. I think we'll do that because my heir is going to need all of the prestige he can get. And Flace, say, what can we build it with you? Do the same. A lot of prestige, but we move. Got a fair amount of gold still, which is always nice to do. Commission epic, going on a pilgrimage. Now we're all good, I think. Getting up the amount of men. Here we go. Okay, we're on a big amount of men. It is July, which means I'm probably going to wait for the next year to start the big war against uh, Sweden for Upland. Because if I start it now, then I'll be fighting throughout the winter, and that is not ideal. So let's wait. What is happening? Why are the troops raised? What are you doing? Is that a peasant rebellion? Doesn't seem to be. You are fighting, you've got no men. Defending in Claymore and wherever. Okay, so just internal wars, nothing we have to concern ourselves about too much. That is fine. Don't mind that at all. We've got so many men and probably have a holy order as well to join us. How many men have they got? Only 1500? Okay. Defend of the faith. Oh, girly. Who is that? My. Oh, that's um, daughter of Chieftain Torkel. Okay. Elizabeth was furious that anyone could target someone attempting to speak on behalf of Sif and chase away the other children. Oh, keep zealous. Fantastic. Yeah, we are building a a good kind of a statue realm here. That's a whole case of this role play, and we seem to be doing it right. Oh, Estonia's finally into a kingdom. And they're at war. A subjugation war, defending. If these people can get it, aren't we distantly related to them? In some way, we used to be, but I think they might have got overthrown, which is a bit of a shame. But you know, role play calls for it, it is fine. We're in January now, so it might be okay. It's still winter, but as soon as it stops being winter, I think it'll be time to well, time to go ham and invade. Well, in February, I think we'll wait till about March time. We'll raise all our boys here and we'll march down to take, take the war targets. Of upland, uh, our land, and we shall see now in March. It's things the, the, the snow is melting, it is Tega though, so oh, supply is going to be horrible. But I think this is still the right decision. We've got the Holy Order as well, we can always call in at some point. We've got a lot of men who are you allied to? That is Count of, okay, some random Swedish Count of's fine. You're still massively in debt, reinforcing. Lovely, I think it's time. King Inga. Now we could invade Kingdom, but that's not really what we want to do. We want to just invade Duchy, guess got up planned. There we go. Border Gold won't be too bad. Oh, cost prestige, which we do not have. Ah, that is a shame. So it looks like we can't do that at the moment. We can commission an epic, but I don't really want to do that. You know what I think? Oh, what's this? Scheme at courts. So we're going to stop the villain behind this. Murder Georg, that is my champion, okay, not too bothered about that. Do what you want, really. Learning perk available, lovely. Know thyself, I will know when death is upon us, that is. That could be very useful if we're going to be in the middle of a war, trying to end it quickly, or what have you. I would like to do this war, though. You know, let's commission an epic again, I don't think we've done it with this. Actually, no, we might have already done it with this character idea, so there's no point doing another one. That doesn't really fit the roleplay too well. But we do need prestige in some degree, so I'll wait until a hunt or a feast comes up again. My spy master's come to it, my daughter in law's plotting against. That's, that's the wife of my son heir. It is, okay, blimey, the abhorrent fiend. Hmm. No, I could imprison you but you've just given birth to another son oh you are really living a, 
been like, oh, you haven't got any good perks, okay. Well, could you call you Magnus? No, I think let's go for another holy name, because this is what the whole player thing is about. Torbjorn could Sylvie. Sylvie, sure thing. Torbjorn, so let's give you an educate. You know how I think I could educate you myself? But it could also, is there any battles that need opinion? Everyone seems to like me though. I think try and make you a steward actually, yeah, I think that'll be good. My courtier, fantastic. There we go, keep you a statue and a Swedish. Let's press play once again. When am I gonna be able to next do any of these? So one three nine and one three nine so far away. Okay, we need prestige quickly. Oh, that's a shame. I was gonna go to war in this episode, not sure if I will do now. Could send you a poem. Work about legacy, morning strife, detailing their incompetence, our uh, cost prestige to do a poem, so we're not going to do that. Plenty of piety, though, that's fantastic. The White Stag, ooh, my lord, this search of yours for a mere beast, I have to admit, it worries me. My big Scotty Philip approaches me as I sift through reports of new sightings of the White Stag. Evidently, anything that demands so much attention could be sent by Loki as if his existence is not a sign of the old father himself. Stag is a messenger from Odin. I think, yeah, that is fair enough. None of your business? No, it is obviously a messenger from Odin. Yes, I must be correct indeed. Hopefully we can find the white stag in this episode. That would be ideal. Let's have a quick look around the world, see what's happening. England's in a big civil war, what is happening? Duke Ralph of East Anglia in a liberty war, okay, nothing too bad, and Duchess Ergolina's claim on the Kingdom of England. Is this the, the Anglo-Saxons rising again? I do believe it is. That is, ooh, this could be big. Anglo-Saxon England back. France seems to be in a, no, no, you're not in a civil war. You're giant. You've got a French king of Budwin. And France does seem pretty strong, which is annoying. Holy Roman Empire, still on fire. Big surprise there. Denmark, yeah, you've done pre pre pretty, pretty, pretty stable throughout this whole period. Now, what is, else is happening? Poland, Orthodox, okay, that's probably something that's not the best. Pomerania is now Catholic. Taskmere, she increased, okay, you've done that culture, we shall spread the culture once again. Let's go to La Falta. Four years left of that housing land, still got 10 years until it gets converted. Let's press play once again. Now, Hungary, you're looking pretty big. I saw the house of Arpad doing all right. How is Italy looking? Tuscany is still very big, um, very powerful. Many, many men, that is huge. Um, Burgundy, independent, of course. Occitan, independent kingdom. So the France, considering how well places from France haven't been, well, I've gone independent, they're still very strong. Notable guests arrive, yeah, whatever, let's take a care. How is the Crusade lands looking? Oh, Jerusalem's got some land over here, task finished. Increase control, fantastic, you know what, let's just uh, get you training the troops. Not improved, do that to our champions would be really good. Okay. Jerusalem, what is the deal with you? Oh, we've got a new king. Polish Orthodox King. Okay, so Orthodoxy is quite strong in this playthrough, seemingly, as Poland and Jerusalem, so the Crusader states are Orthodox. That is not good for Catholicism, which is quite good for me. I'm not really gonna be fighting Orthodox too much, so yeah, Egypt are losing another war. The Emirates of Medina so that's in Sicily. Do you want how Jerusalem got that? Piece of land there in Chin in Yeah, but fair enough. Serbia's still independent, which you don't see too often. Usually the Byzantines have gobbled it up by now. But uh oh po wait, Polish faith in Croatia. Pol I think the Polish uh culture's definitely Ooh Know thyself close to the end oh no i can feel it in my very bones hell will come for me soon like an old friend she is patiently waiting to receive me oh my goodness oh my goodness 
That is not ideal. We need to start thinking about succession then. Okay, we're not going to go to war with Sweden because, nah, the succession will not be able to survive that, I do believe. You, oh, heavy days. One day follows another relentlessly, even as my mind drowns in exhaustion and hopelessness. Sometimes even get out, getting out of bed in the morning is too much for me. Oh no, don't become infirm. Oh, I'm just exhausted. Yeah, I suppose we are actually getting on a bit in age. Moderate penalty, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. We are at the big age of 65, which in the year 1137 is obviously very... Negotiate alliance with you, fantastic. Let's do that. Hopefully, that will be able to be fine for my son as well. Alliance formed, lovely. Yeah, this episode it's been a bit slower, but it's been needed. Dodge and drink, no, 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 no. We need to try and survive as long as we can. The white stag, please. Can we find it before? I pass on. As the days pass by and I hear nothing about the white stag, I grow restless. Surely someone must have seen it. What about all the peasants littering the Tega? Maybe I should appeal to their existence I spend. <sighs> Philip gets distracted. I will not sink that low. No, I'm hunting. See if we can get it. It's, it's prestige, but who cares? We're not going to play one so we didn't. We, let's spend that prestige. If we can get the white stag before we pass on, then that is going to be huge. How is my other son doing? Duke Magnus the third Magnuson. Got a child? Wow, okay. Up to the task. Some of my counsellors believe the job is theirs by right of blood or influence alone. Okay, let's... You, yeah, you okay? You, you become better? Sure, let's get you better. You temples established? Fantastic. Oh my. You know what I think? To get my son in better standing, let's give him... I'm gonna give him a gift. We can. Only 12, whatever. But I just have got so much money that it's going to be distributed between all my uh, children that oh, King of Novgorod, looking there, pretty strong. Or another Orthodox realm. Yarmland, it's like it's formed into a kingdom. Till death do us part. Oh my goodness. My dear Yopaxia, I may not have loved you, yet I feel you're passing more acutely than I ever thought. She died of old age, I presume. Oh, that is really a shame. My wife has died. Big stress, that's not good. Alliance expired. Ugh. That is annoying. We should be fine, hopefully. The Anglo Saxons win this civil war, though. They seem to be. Love that. Cross war targets. But they're, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. We're making quite good gold. I'm not going to be married. We're too old for that. No, thank you. We're going to stay loyal to our recently deceased wife. Can we find the white stag, though? That is the thing that I really I really want to do this episode. Can't quite go for a hunt yet. One more year, and we shall try it once again. See if anything, any progress gets made. Let's put it on five speed. If it chose to do it, there we go get through this, uh, this year, hopefully, that we will be able to get it before we do pass on. King Sweeney is still in control of Scotland. How's Norway looking? King is still Ying, Varl, Absen. Finger is still there. Inspired and moderation. Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my granddaughter Elizabeth what she thought. Hmm, temperate. That could be, that's always a good trait in Crusader Kings, especially Crusader Kings 2. Health, small boost, stewardship, sure. Finger is... Ooh. And there it is. No! I drank himself to death. Whoa, whoa. A tormented man. He had long desired the sweet embrace of death. Not sure about that. But wow. 43 years we ruled. From 1095 into the new century, we formed the kingdom. Wow, 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 wow. 14 wars. Fought so much. Wow, wow, wow. Titles, everything's gone to me. That is fantastic. But yes, this is the third character that we're playing as. It was Tord. King Magnus became, he's the king, the first king of Jantland of the, the last Vikings. And now we are playing as Torbjorn. Wow, succession is going to be big. We've got a very powerful brother. Who, yeah, no, Scotty, yeah, whatever. That is huge. 
let's just quickly just yeah let's do our whole council and everything we need to do that your pad or oh, everyone's powerful let's give you some of the uh, and do need to get powerful vassals because yeah do you still hate me yes marshall my brother definitely so he he's got a claim on my titles and still no oh dear i think you know let's get put you on domestic affairs i think would be the better thing so my court likes me so they don't rebel that does mean we also get to pick lifestyle marshall okay going down this one that is absolutely fine with me control growth could be big but i think strategy is going to be better because yeah we're not not really going to be getting too many new lands we might be able to but i need all the marshall i'm going to be able to get nine things in vic scotty let's get you swayed sort all this out lock in prison whatever and you know what i think concubines can we get any concubines we can't okay staying loyal to our wife loyal our children yeah you hopefully Anand will be able to be a really effective person as guardians elizabeth uh what kind of person are you pretty good diplomat and oh intrigue let's see if any intrigue people are out there not really so i think we're gonna go with a uh, I don't know. I think we'll sort this all out in the next episode and get the succession. Hopefully we'll survive succession, but yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't manage to kill the white stag before uh, our character passed on, but now we're going to have to try and survive a succession. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Please subscribe to the channel if you have. It means the world to me, and I will see you in the next one.